Okay, this is the cabin. And there's some of my tomatoes and peppers, and there's some more tomatoes. But that's not the purpose of this video. This video is to show you the solar shower, which is right there, the black container, and it gravity feeds down through regular garden hose through this elaborate plumbing system, which is the hose going into my cabin bathroom window. That's the only hose going to the actual solar shower. And the way that I currently feed it, because I've just had it going a short time, is through this. And I'll get to that in a minute. But the solar shower, just sitting here on a day like today, and again we're in western Washington, so it's not blazing hot like some places, that will probably, just filling that container up and just letting the sun hit it all day, will probably get to be uh, maybe uh, 80, 90 degree water. So what I did is I concocted this, which is a 4x4 four four sheet of OSB, painted, I tried spray paint but it didn't work, it was too rotten of a job, so I used um, brushed uh, latex, I don't know that it's latex, but anyway it's flat black, and then I put two pieces of 25 foot um, poly tube, five eighths, or half inch, half inch in diameter I think, and just coiled them up on there and stapled them, you know, there and there and there and there, and so it is fed by this black hose that goes down. It's just coming from the hose. That hose there is for water in the garden. But anyway, this thing's been sitting in the sun for about an hour, and I think it's about 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And I haven't got it plumbed in, like I say, but what I'm going to do is take this and fill up this bucket with water. Okay. So I'm going to fill up this bucket with water, and this water between the 50 feet of hose and the uh, uh, garden hose I have feeding it is also black. I get about 3 gallons of water, and the water should be about 140 degrees right now. I mean, it'll burn your hands, so when we get down, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll fill it up and I'll show you the temperature. Okay, now I'm blind from looking in this, at this white bucket in the sun, and I, and I, I kind of messed up. Anyway, you can see the temperature. It's, uh, it was a little over 125, but now the amount of time it took me to get it out and get the camera going. So it's about 125, which is hot water. Now I'm going to hand carry it over there and put it in the solar shower. I have this really high-tech thermometer in here. We're going to see just the water from sitting there for today is at 80 degrees already. I haven't added any of the water heated out of the coil yet. But I bring that bucket of water over here and I can't do it with the camera going. Well, maybe I can. But, oh gosh. So I pour that in there, and that water is, like I say, over 125. And then I put the lid back on. I let the uh, coil heat back up again. And on a day like today, I'm not sure what the temperature is outside, but uh, in the 80s for sure, or about 80 probably. So in an hour, that'll be enough. Probably a half an hour, maybe even less. I haven't timed it. That'll be hot again. And I do that twice, and at the end of the day, I have to wait for the water to cool down in that. So I have 30 gallons of water that's over 100, and well, I don't know what it is, but we're going to be finding out today. So anyway, that's all. I'll show you later on the temperature of uh, the actual shower water later on today when at the end of the day. So you can see that it's not difficult to build. It's just stapled and there's a junction where I had to put the two pieces of uh, poly tube together and then that's a repair that I had to do because it sprung a leak one day as a matter of fact I had a plastic fitting right here where the brass one is 
it was PVC. And when I got home one night, afternoon rather, it was uh, spraying water out. So I figured just pressure or something. I took it off and tried to fix it, and you could see that it had changed shape. It was the it was no longer round; it was oblong. So it had gotten hot enough to actually change. I wouldn't say melt, but change the shape of that plastic fitting. So when you got metal and all is good, but if you put your hand on that board right now, it's hot. So anyway, that's enough for now. Life at the cabin. So long. Okay, it's a quarter after seven, and uh, you saw me dump the first bucket of hot water in there. About an hour after that, I did one other bucket of hot water, and I haven't looked at it since. Ow. Ooh, it's hot. Okay, it's my high-tech thermometer. Okay, so it's about 108 or 9 degree whoops, water. And uh, so actually that's too hot for me to shower in because the way I have it set up I don't have a uh, cold water available to it. So I'll just wait a little while. But 105 is good or 100 is good. Anyway, that is the uh, result of just two coils of this and full of hot water. And then the uh, just the sun on it the rest of the day. So, that's all. I'll uh, follow up with more videos on how I modify this thing. So, that's all for now from the cabin. Take care. Bye.